further success for India and for Kapil Dev with the ball just leaving him a little and playing a trifle loosely outside the off stump. Previously, mostly to Wasson though, Grant, wasn't it? He was leaving the ball and picking it very well, but there he pushed a little bit too far towards the ball, much the same way as Ken Rutherford did, and he found that the bat was closer to the ball than he really needed it to be. And an edge straight through to Moro. And that set the scene for a phenomenal performance by Ian Smith. Hadley has uh, cracked it away for four further runs. And a bit between the teeth, and that certainly worked today. That's a well timed stroke by Ian Smith. Just forward of the square leg umpire. That'll go to the fence. Four runs to Smith. His first boundary. And it's 161 now for seven. Nicely whipped away by Smith. That's four. Put it away to the short, shortest boundary, just backward of square. And four further runs to Ian Smith. He goes to 15. It's 168 now for seven. Lifted away by Smith. And oh, perfectly placed. Two players standing about uh, 25 metres apart. And he's put it about 12 and a half metres either side of each. Nothing like a good, accurate commentator, is there, really? But certainly, again, you see, it's in the slot for Ian Smith. He likes it on those legs. And he just picked it up. And the easiest shot of the lot, really, pick up shot, but not with two people positioned there. But it is the shortest boundary in the ground. And it is somewhat shorter because the wicket is certainly on the right-hand side of the block. And so it is a very short boundary down there. And he probably feels there he's a little unlucky not to get more runs. He flicks it over the top. And four runs to Hadley. That's 50 for Richard Hadley. Sustained applause for one of Eden Park's favourite sons, Richard Hadley. His 14th half century in Test cricket and his very first against India. Yeah, it gave him a bit of room, you see, and he does like that up there. And as long as he's can... Uh, the idea, I think, to bounce is, is correct, but, but he must get it in close. And look, that's pleased him very much. Here's Watson bowling to Hadley. Side through mid wicket, four runs to Hadley. Well, that's a cracking shot on the offside this time. Azra Dean makes good ground, but he's going to lose it. It's over the fair, over the boundary ropes. Four more. Ian Smith gets into the act, and that'll be four runs to Smith. Azaradine is chasing valiantly round the boundary ropes, not making a lot of progress as New Zealand take another four. Smith has cracked this one away on the onside. That's gone again. Four more. This is marvellous batting by Hadley and Smith. They really have taken up the challenge here. And as the over comes to an end, it's 198 for seven. Slightly over tossed. Hadley will help himself to a couple here. Again, it was the slower ball. And up comes the 200. Well, at 64 for five, 200 was a long way away, but New Zealand's achieved it with only seven wickets down. Another strong shot played by Hadley. It's through again. Four more. Valiant attempt done on the boundary. by Manjraka. Yes, we haven't seen too many of the Indians use the laundry this tour, but look, this Mandraker certainly has, has a bit of a go at this, but that's a short boundary out there, and Headley hits powerfully just down by the player's tunnel. And it's, it had the width there for him allowing to play that stroke. Of air and Hadley gets it away off the edge rather 
And it's gone to the fence. Well, we keep telling you it's a short boundary, and it is. And Hadley has put it away to the fence to go to 76, and at the end of the over, 214 for seven. Capital Dev now to Ian Smith on 33. And he gives this a decent heave away through the onside field. That's going out to the fence. Another boundary for Ian Smith. Well, that's the Ian Smith vintage stuff, really. Uh, slightly short, not that short, but whips it away, so very strong. As you see, not that short at all, but just able to get into position and whip it away. Wonderful eye, Ian Smith. Here's Hewani starting a new over to Richard Hadley. Tries to lap it away, sweep it away. He may have got a little bat on it. Morrow's missed it anyway. It's down to the boundary. What's the call from Steve Dunn? Leg by. So it came from the pad of Richard Hadley. He's been down on one knee to sweep it. It's the century partnership. It's going to be four more runs to Richard Hadley as well. Hadley goes to 83, 234 for seven, and the partnership now 103 runs. The marvellous batting from Richard Hadley and Ian Smith. They bought this innings around. It was teetering on the brink of disaster at 85 for six to 234 for seven. Ian Smith came in at the fall of Shane Thompson's wicket, who contributed to the recovery with 22, but uh, these two really have put the seal on that recovery. Hadley's balls hit right across the line, well bowled by Hilwani. Hadley out five runs short of 3,000 in his career. I'm sure he'll reach the mark eventually, but uh, that's the end of a great innings by Richard Hadley, the end of a magnificent partnership, and Hadley out for 83. Great innings from Richard Hadley. He really took the attack to the Indians. New Zealand in all sorts of trouble when he came in. The ball was seeming around, but uh, he didn't lie down and take it. He whacked the ball all around Eden Park, and he does love this ground. And he's finally out for a fine innings. But this ball was a bit full, and he went to swing it away, but it was too full on him, and he couldn't get the bat down. And it was straight, and it sneaked through and hit the stumps. I think Hadley was just trying to be a bit too delicate there, wasn't he? A bit too cute. So Hadley, sadly for him, is out for 83. It's 234 for eight. Smith away on the onside. He's got a hold of that one pretty well. He was in the air for a long time. And it's gone to the fence for another boundary for Ian Smith. And he's edging up towards his half century. He's now 47. and away, that'll be the half century. Ian Smith goes to 50 for the sixth time in Test cricket. And at the same time, the New Zealand 250 is registered. Hawani bowling to Smith. Smith on 52. And he collected that one all right, and that's a good shot from Smith. The player down at deep back of the square there didn't have far to run, but Ian Smith got a lot of bat on that. This time he's got plenty on it. That's four. Swung away through square leg. Here's one on the offside. What a great shot. Look at that. Sixty-six Ian Smith. Eleven fours now. Without any disrespect to Richard Hadley, that would be the second best shot of the day. So Hewani will try again to Ian Smith. And Smith goes again. And he's got four more. Just behind square. Short boundaries out there. And even though there's two men deep on the leg side, with the boundary being so short down there, there was no chance of either of them stopping it. Ian Smith goes to 71. Smith's hit it hard and high again. Out beyond the Indian captain and out to the fence for four more. Smith is 79. And it's 280 for eight. Here's Prabaka. Again, whipped away. That'll be four. So that's the 50 partnership. Ian Smith is 85. Up it. Oh, and over the top of slope and down to the fence for four more. 
Well, great stuff from Smith, really. That wasn't a great looking shot, but the result was four more. It was tight into, it was too tight to cut, really. And it climbed on him a little more than expected, but just got a little thickish edge, and away it went. Here comes Kubaka then, to Smith. Flips it away, and that's four runs. Back with a square. Smith goes to 98. That was in the air, but just wide of the fieldsman. And Ian Smith now too short of that 100. Prabaka bowling to Ian Smith on 98. Swings it away. This could be it. It is it. Another test 100 for Ian Smith. probably won't see it, Grant, but when they were completing the second run, Martin Sneddon gestured, to indicate that he was as pleased as Ian Smith was. Look at all those boundaries. There's a couple on the offside. Yep. Most of them on the onside. One screaming off drive, which came down to the scoreboard end. A cover drive through to the south stand. A slice that went over the solitary slip for four down to third man and the rest of them all on the outside 195 balls 163 minutes and he's hit 16 fours and that's well played by martin sneddon touch of class by smith playing the cut shot that he's become so renowned for over the last 10 years. That show has played with a great deal of delicacy, and he's hit it down to the Marigolds for four. Bad ball from Hawani, hit away by Snedden. And this will be the century partnership. Martin Snedden's only got 15 of them, but that's exactly 100 runs added by Smith and Snedden. Bright sunshine now as Ian Smith faces Adler Watson. And this one's away down towards uh, third man, and Smith gets another boundary. Just throwing the bat at that one, which was right outside the off stump. And Smith goes racing to 132 with his 20th boundary of the day. Smith goes again. This time he's over the top, and you get four more. Well, that scoring rate's been marvellous. Oh dear. Adel Watson has crashed. And uh, let's hope that the leg is not injured. Oh, look at that. That's real minty stuff, isn't it? It's, uh, goodness gracious. The records continue to tumble. Smith goes again, and this time he might go over the top. Six runs. <laughs> what a shot that was. I'd be very interested to look at the line of that. That looked as if it was on about middle. 21 fours and a six. Facing what? Where will this one go? It's gone anyway. And it's gone for six more. <laughs> 150 for Ian Smith. Well, that one went very high. It looked like it might drop in the field of play, but uh, no, it didn't. It got to the number one stand, so it was six more, and what an over. Twenty-four runs off the over for Matt Watson. Smith has 150. And he's giving a lot of credit to Martin Sneddon, who's done a great job. Have a look at this shot. Ian Smith just picking it up high, wide, and handsome, and it did go high. There's a fieldsman out there right on the boundary, as you see, and he hovered for a while but realized it was going well clear of him.